In this podcast episode, Dr. Robert Lustig, a renowned expert in metabolic health, discusses the impact of different fat depots on overall health. He emphasizes that it is not the visible fat that determines health, but rather the fat stored in the liver and visceral fat. These fat depots have different causes, effects, and drainage pathways, which ultimately influence health outcomes. Dr. Lustig discusses the three main types of fat storage in the body, subcutaneous, visceral, and liver fat. Subcutaneous fat, stored beneath the skin, can accumulate up to 22 pounds before causing issues. Visceral fat, stored around organs, can lead to health problems with just five pounds of accumulation. Liver fat, on the other hand, can cause issues with as little as 0.3 pounds of accumulation. Subcutaneous fat, the fat you can see, is the body's natural storage site for excess energy. When subcutaneous fat accumulates excessively, the fat vacuoles within adipose tissue cells can expand, leading to inflammation and potential health issues. However, moderate amounts of subcutaneous fat are not necessarily harmful and serve as a safe storage location for excess energy. Visceral fat, also known as belly fat, is driven by chronic stress rather than food intake. Stress causes cortisol levels to rise, leading to the accumulation of fat around the organs in the abdominal area. Chronic stress disrupts the balance between fat storage and release in visceral fat, contributing to metabolic dysfunction and health problems. Individuals experiencing severe stress or depression can even exhibit an increase in visceral fat despite reduced food intake. Liver fat, located at the center of metabolic processes, plays a crucial role in regulating insulin levels and overall metabolic health. Excessive liver fat, often caused by alcohol and sugar consumption, can lead to insulin resistance and metabolic dysfunction. Even a small amount of liver fat accumulation can have significant health implications, making it a critical fat depot to monitor for overall health. Excess fructose, alcohol, trans fats, and branched chain amino acids are identified as key drivers of liver fat accumulation. While fructose and alcohol are commonly known culprits, trans fats and excess branched chain amino acids can also contribute to liver fat accumulation. It is essential to be mindful of these factors in diet and lifestyle choices to support liver health and overall metabolic function. Dr. Lustig explains that the liver is a vital organ for metabolic health, as it is responsible for various functions such as detoxification, energy production, and blood glucose control. He stresses the significance of maintaining a healthy liver to ensure optimal metabolic function and overall well-being. Dr. Lustig provides insights into how individuals can assess the state of their liver health. He mentions methods such as measuring waist circumference and monitoring liver enzyme levels like ALT. He emphasizes the importance of interpreting these results accurately and seeking further evaluation if needed to ensure optimal liver function. Chronic stress is a significant contributor to metabolic dysfunction and overall health issues. Dr. Lustig explains that chronic stress affects the amygdala, the brain's fear and stress center, by disrupting four key regulatory mechanisms. These mechanisms include the prefrontal cortex for reasoning, the hippocampus for memory, the vagus nerve for interoception, and oxytocin for promoting feelings of safety. When these regulatory mechanisms fail, the amygdala becomes overactive, leading to a cascade of negative health effects. Chronic stress can influence eating behaviors, leading to stress eating and overconsumption of unhealthy foods. Cortisol, a stress hormone, can impact the prefrontal cortex, reducing cognitive inhibition and increasing the drive to consume high-calorie foods. Stress-induced changes in brain function can lead to emotional eating patterns where individuals seek comfort in food to cope with stress and anxiety. The interplay between stress and metabolic health is complex and multifaceted. Chronic stress can disrupt hormonal balance, alter brain function, and contribute to the development of metabolic disorders such as insulin resistance and obesity. Addressing stress management strategies such as mindfulness, relaxation techniques, and lifestyle modifications is essential for improving metabolic health and overall well-being. Dr. Lustig shares a study conducted at UCSF that focused on postmenopausal women with metabolic syndrome and the positive outcomes seen in those who participated in mindfulness-based stress reduction activities like yoga. By reducing stress levels, 
individuals were able to improve their insulin sensitivity and reduce visceral fat, leading to better overall health. Reactive oxygen species, ROS, play a significant role in the development of metabolic syndrome and other chronic diseases. Dr. Lustig explains that the body needs antioxidants to neutralize ROS and prevent cellular damage. Mitochondria, the energy powerhouses of cells, play a crucial role in clearing ROS through peroxisomes. Consuming antioxidant-rich foods like fruits and vegetables can help mitigate the effects of ROS and support overall cellular health. Dr. Lustig delves into the negative effects of excess fructose consumption on metabolic health. While fruits contain fructose, they also provide fiber and antioxidants that help counteract the harmful effects of fructose. He emphasizes the importance of consuming whole fruits rather than fruit juices, as the fiber content in fruits helps regulate blood sugar levels and support gut health. Excessive fructose intake can lead to liver fat accumulation and oxidative stress, contributing to metabolic syndrome. Dr. Lustig acknowledges the variability in how individuals respond to different foods based on their metabolic health. He highlights the importance of personalized nutrition and understanding how specific foods affect blood glucose levels. Continuous glucose monitoring can provide valuable insights into individual responses to foods, allowing for tailored dietary recommendations. Factors like glycemic load, fiber content, and fructose metabolism should be considered when evaluating the impact of food choices on metabolic health. Dr. Lustig emphasizes the significance of maintaining mitochondrial integrity for proper cellular function. Mitochondria play a crucial role in producing energy for the cell, and when they are not functioning efficiently, it can lead to various health issues. Factors such as stress, toxins in the environment, and poor dietary choices can impact mitochondrial function, ultimately affecting overall health and well-being. Continuous glucose monitors can provide valuable insights into blood sugar levels and how different foods impact glucose excursions. While some may argue that focusing on blood sugar levels can lead to orthorexia or an unhealthy obsession with food, Dr. Lustig believes that these monitors can be a useful tool for individuals to understand their body's response to different foods. By monitoring blood sugar levels, individuals can make informed choices about their diet and lifestyle to support metabolic health. Dr. Lustig addresses the topic of honey consumption, highlighting that while natural honey contains glucose and fructose, it can still contribute to overall sugar intake. The quality of honey available in stores can vary, with some products containing added sugars or artificial flavors. While honey may be perceived as a healthier option compared to refined sugar, it is essential to consume it in moderation and be aware of potential fraud in the honey industry. Dr. Lustig emphasizes the importance of precision in language when discussing nutrition and health. Terms like sugar can be misleading as they encompass various types of sugars with different metabolic effects. Being specific about the type of sugar being referred to, such as glucose or fructose, can help clarify discussions around dietary choices and their impact on health. Dr. Lustig advocates for the establishment of guardrails in healthcare to guide individuals in making informed decisions about their health. Just as guardrails are needed in other areas like nuclear power and genetic engineering, they are essential in healthcare to ensure that individuals have access to accurate information and support in managing their health. By providing clear guidelines and support, Individuals can navigate the complexities of healthcare and make choices that promote their well being. Dr. Lustig addresses the balance between health conscious eating and occasional indulgences. He suggests that while occasional treats like sweets can be enjoyed as desserts, it is essential to focus on consuming real, nutrient dense foods for the majority of meals. He emphasizes the importance of understanding the impact of food choices on metabolic health and making informed decisions. Dr. Lustig challenges the traditional belief system surrounding calories and diet by emphasizing the need for a new narrative based on scientific evidence. He encourages individuals to reevaluate their understanding of nutrition and metabolic health to make informed choices that support overall well-being.